in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the legend, wait for it, Derry LG Hanger. It's a top of the line vacuum chamber. It's custom made. It's fairly pricey, but it's worth the price. Stay tuned as I do an overview as to what it is, how it works, what makes it special, price, and so on. I'll also be doing a demo. I'll give you some tips and tricks, and I'll go over my own personal routine and results. It's going to be a good video. Is it going to get my thumbs up or thumbs down? Stay tuned. Okay, so first let's do a brief overview as to what is the LG Hanger. We'll go through the website and look a little bit as to pricing. So first of all, the LG Hanger is this custom-made vacuum chamber, very high quality. And sort of the the advantage of it is that it's custom, like I said, it's custom-made to your uh, to your size. So essentially, you send them, um, you take a measuring tape and you send them the dimensions. Uh, it's very very simple. You basically just have to um, get hard and you um, you use a measuring tape and you measure like around the glands. And uh, it's very very simple. I think you, I believe you take like two measurements and you send it in uh, with your order and they custom made the machine they machine it to your sizing so that it has a as a perfect size for you when it's erect. So this is like their basically their premier product. Like this is this is the main product that they basically offer. But they do have some interesting offers. Um, so let's go through the website and see a little bit about pricing. So this is their website. It's called L LG Hanger LLC. <clears throat> so it's kind of a yeah, they have some weird uh, links in here. So they had like PE coaching, coaching uh, with Dr. Rick Howard. This guy looks like he took this picture way back in like the 1970s. This, this haircut looks fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I believe they talk about like uh, cutting a ligament. And um, when you cut the ligament, you should absolutely be doing traction. Uh, I never recommend any sort of surgery or anything like that. I think that's dumb. Like uh, you can just get the similar results without the surgery. But hey, if, if you're into that, like you absolutely should be doing traction after uh, after cutting it. <clears throat> so they, they have quite a few packages here. So essentially they have packages where they include the weights and the vacuum pump because you will need a vacuum pump. So essentially, so essentially like this little piece that you use it, uh, you need, a, you will need a vacuum pump and it's, you know, you also need weights. Um, and they also, um, they also offer one package that includes this little, uh, this little rods, which I'll talk about, uh, here. The bad part is, is that they don't have a package where they just offer, uh, the rods, but without without the weights and without the, um, the vacuum pump. Like, I think it's kind of shady, like why they, they don't do that? Because you absolutely want to get the rods, like they're super useful, you know, I'll go into why they are useful in a little bit. Yeah, so they just have this package B, which is the cheapest one, which basically has no rods, uh, no uh, no vacuum pump, no weights. This other package A, and that one, uh, the cheapest one is 295. Uh, package A basically is no rods, uh, does come with a vacuum pump, but it, does so, uh, but it doesn't come with weights. Um, package a there's another version of the package a which comes with the rods in the vacuum pump and then they have the complete system which basically uh which is i don't even know why they why they say it's a complete system it doesn't come with the yeah like it doesn't seem to come with the rods so let's let's take a look at this the most expensive package real quick yeah i think this is weird like why would they uh they they call this a complete package but uh the complete system but it doesn't actually come with the rods so um, I highly, I highly recommend that you get one with the rods. So, so what I recommend that you guys do is if you are interested in buying this, uh, based on the review later, and this is, this is what I got essentially is the package B with no weights and no hand pump, you know, weights are way cheaper. You can buy that somewhere else. And the hand pump, I already have a hand pump from the, my Lilove hand pump. So I didn't need that. That's $295. So if you hit, uh, if you hit products, their website's a little janky. So if you hit products. Uh, you can actually buy the um, the rods. They call it the bundle arm accessory separately. So what I recommend and what I got was the was this package B with the with the bundle arm accessory. So it's basically two hundred and ninety five, basically like three hundred dollars plus the arm accessory. So that's about four hundred dollars. So you know that's a little bit. Uh, I, now that I'm looking at it, I think what I should have done, and I think what you should do instead, is just get the package A. Uh, even if you already have a, a vacuum pump, it's overall a little bit cheaper and you're going to get an extra vacuum pump. So I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Why didn't they just offer one that doesn't have the vacuum pump, but does come with the bundle arms? I think that's a little, it's a little weird and, uh, but it is what it is. Like if you buy it separately, you're probably better off getting this package A. Um, they also offer some other cool products. So they have like the, this LG extender, but it's pretty pricey. It's $235 for the extender. Um, but the good thing is that this extender does work with their vacuum chamber and uh, I'll go into a little bit more uh, about that later in the video. 
Uh, they also have like a joke roller. Um, I don't have that. The cable clamp, which is, you know, super basic. A glance cap, which I hate glance cap. I'd rather tape and I'll go through that in the demo. They have girth bands. These are good. These are nice, but a little pricey. Uh, they have the ADS, an all day stretcher system, which I've heard actually a lot of good things about. I heard that it's, I want to get it and uh, just review it. Uh, it looks pretty legit, honestly. Uh, but it's something I want, I'm interested in, uh, in checking out. Um, they also have like this, this cable weight stand system, um, which it looks bulky and, uh, you know, I, I'll go through like my own setup and how I do, uh, how I do it myself. And I'll go through that in a little bit. Like I basically have my own pulley system that I've set up, uh, and you'll see it uh, a little bit later on. Um, and then they have the legendary, uh, LG hanger silicon sleeves. These are amazing. So, you know, I think these and like the total men's sleeves are very high quality. Personally, I actually prefer uh, the LG hanger sleeves a little bit more than the total men's sleeves. They're just like, I, in my opinion, even better quality than the total men uh, sleeves. Um, like I've had the same sleeves since I got it and they've just lasted me for a long time. They're super versatile and I'd rather get the sleeve and then just cut it up into like these girth bands, uh, then get the girth bands by himself. Cause these are like super versatile and even a little bit cheaper, you know, like the, the only difference is that, that they have this little thing at the end, but you can just cut it up and it's kind of essentially the same thing. So yeah, they have like tape and other things like other accessories. Um, but that's kind of like the, the main, their main, uh, product line. Okay. So next I want to do a little bit of a, a demo as to how to, how do you put it on? While I do that, I'll go through some of the components and some key notes and tips for some of the components. So let's dive into that. Okay. So I basically have a lot of the parts all laid out here on the table. Okay. So I'll go through, um, one, uh, one by one. So first of all, this is the, this is the main chamber. You can see it here. So it's very high quality, very thick. Um, whatever this is, some sort of plastic, very good quality plastic. So I sent him my dimensions and they, uh, they basically custom made this for me. Comes with this little, um, fitting here. So this, you basically use the vacuum pump comes with this little hook here. And essentially you can use this, um, you know, you can attach this, you can attach this to your, the weights. This is not even the original one that I got with it. Like I bought this at home Depot or something. Uh, and then it comes with the holes here. These are the, the bundle arms and they're called bundle for a reason. And so you basically, uh, you have, you can put, put them in here and I'll do that in a little bit, but it's extremely important that when you order it, like I highly suggest that when you order it, either get the package that comes with the bundle arms already or order the chamber and the bundle arms together. Um, or tell them that you're going to order the bundle arms later so that they make these holes in the chamber. Because if they, if your chamber doesn't have these holes, then you're not going to be able to use the bundle arms. So I would just rather just get them at the same time so that you don't have, uh, any sort of problems later on. Um, you know, if your chamber doesn't come with those bundle arms. So these are the bundle arms and they're called bundle for a reason, which I'll go into in a, in a second. So let me talk a little bit as to how you assemble this. <clears throat> So first you take your, um, LG chamber, uh, LG hanger vacuum sleeve. So I actually don't have a full one around. I've used, I think they, they send you two or three. I don't remember. And, um, so I had to cut this up. So if I cut, so I basically cut up this one part. So this is about two and a half inches. So this like what I'm doing is how I do it. Uh, make sure you go to their website and, um, and see how they do it. But this is very, very effective the way that I do it for me. So, uh, basically, you know, I take this one and you just put it on So you basically just put it on. I'm sure. It has a nice, you know, nice and, um, nice and even here. Next, I like to put this in here. So I put it in there and then they send you this little bands. These are bands are really cool. I love these bands. <clears throat> and, uh, essentially you're just going to put it around this. Yeah. So you put the, this band on cool. Uh, and it's, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just gives it a nice, uh, snug fit here. Okay. After that, you take this out and then I turn this inside out like that. Okay. And I have this prepped, ready to go. So next let's bring our old friend, Mr. Slappy. So 
you know, in case this uh, video gets demonetized, make sure you subscribe and support me by subscribing, share it with the community, share it with your friends. So, uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do the way that, I, uh, in, in, you know, kind of a side note, uh, the LG hanger support was actually excellent. Like at first I had a lot, a lot of problems, um, putting this thing on, like, because I kept trying to put it on flaccid. Um, and I kept trying to do it the same way that the total man, that I would put on and tape up for the total man rod extender. And at first I used to tape up completely uh, flaccid. And then I talked to, I forget his name, but the guy from LG Hanger. And he told me to basically that it's best to tape up um, erect. And so the whole ta idea of uh, taping up erect came from him. Uh, and later I noticed that even Total Man himself, his newest uh, taping video, uh, he recommends doing it erect. So the new standard of taping is definitely doing it erect. And if you look at my at my other video, I'll leave a link to that video below. But essentially in that video, I, sh I show you how to tape up erect. But the taping technique is different for the LG hanger than it is for the Total Man rod extender. So in that other video, I showed you how to tape up for the Total Man rod extender. This taping technique is different. They do have a lot of things in common, but it's different. So, okay, so enough of a, enough of a rant. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is case get a erection. So, you know, you know, put some porn on or whatever. I like to just lay down, I put my, put my, um, put my put my laptop next to me and I'll put some porn on get an erection after that what I like to do I have these two so I cut these from the LG hanger uh, sleeve so they're about about an inch inch or so they're not even the same size but good enough looks a lot like the girth bands that they sell but I just you know, use the longer sleeve to cut up small pieces so I like to get an erection and then I'll put the the first the first one on then I'll put another one on and, and this basically uh, helps keep the erection. Um, you can also use a clamp. I don't really like the clamp. I feel it's too bulky. I like this a lot better. Uh, and then I'll put even another one. So this other band that the LG hanger came with. Uh, so I like to just throw it in. So with three stacked on top of each other, uh, really, really holds the erection uh, enough for me to like uh, tape up and all that. Uh, next, you're going to um, <clears throat> take the micro pore tape and, uh, and you're gonna tape up basically uh, the same way that uh, you would for the uh, for the total rod extender. So you take like a small piece. Okay, so that one is not a good cut, but it'll be good enough. So then from there, uh, you basically just tape up. I like to do here first. So you do that and then uh, in the middle and then you go up, making sure like you press and that there's no folds in the skin, that there's no bubbles. So you go up. Don't just kind of half-ass it, like make sure that it's smooth and that you're not uh, putting any air bubbles or folds in the skin, right? So you do that, kind of like do do what I'm doing here, just making sure that it's smooth here. So that's the first one, okay? You're gonna take another piece, you're gonna take another piece, same thing, about it, cut it about that size <clears throat> and do that. And next, you're gonna sort of add an angle. So same placement, you know, you do that. It's a little bit past, I like past the glance here. This works really well for me. You go up, same thing. It's kind of at an angle here. Notice how um, I'm going just besides like the pee hole here. Same concept though, making sure there's no air bubbles. I'll fold the skin. That works pretty good. <clears throat> okay. So notice it's at an angle here. So the overlapping half of the first tape. Then you're going to do the same for the other side. So go ahead and take a piece of tape, micro pore tape. Same thing. So you're going to angle it. You're going to make sure there's no air bubbles as you go up. And there you go. <clears throat> So now that's sort of like the first uh, three pieces of tape. This covers up the glance um, and the sides of it. So this is pretty uh, very important. Next, you're gonna cut another piece of micropore tape. This time a little bit longer, enough to go around the glance, okay? And so what I like to do is start here, <clears throat> sort of like under it and cover this part. So like this, okay? So you're basically covering the exposed skin that's on the side and at an angle, like an angle, downwards angle. <clears throat> and you're gonna keep going down. This is kinda a little bit tricky. So as you go down, you gotta then angle it back up. You're gonna angle it back up here. And you're gonna follow basically the ridge of the glance here. Make sure you get like any sort of exposed skin here. Okay, and you go around. Okay, so there you go. This is what it should look like. You're basically following the, the glance here. Okay, this is while you're still fully erect. Now I like to put a little bit extra, especially around the areas that I know I usually get um, get blisters on. So like here, I always get a, like you know, if, especially with the total man vacuum chamber, I always get tend to get blisters here. So I put a little bit extra 
just to make sure in this area you know sort of angle it i'll put a little bit even more on both sides just like small pieces nothing too crazy just in the areas that i know i'm prone to uh, blistering on blistering in so yeah so i put a little bit just extra just to make sure just trying to be as safe as possible i i hate getting blisters <laughs> But actually, you know, I'll go into a little bit more of my routine and um, and the blister risk factor is, is for the LG hanger. Um, but with this taping technique, like I have yet to get a blister with the LG hanger in which even with this taping technique, uh, this basic one, I get I even get blisters like here with the with the total man vacuum chamber. So there's something about the the LG hanger chamber that creates a much better uh, mechanism where I've I've done I've used this for hours at a time with even higher weights higher tension than the uh, total man extender and I have yet to get a blister knock on wood hopefully it doesn't happen but uh, I cannot guarantee that you won't but like I have yet to get a blister with this so you should be safe okay so then uh, so what I, next what I like to do is uh, taking some of this Coban tape and I'll leave links to all of this uh, below so I cut out a piece here already, Coban tape here. So this piece is about what, 12, about four, t about 13 inches or so of Coban, um, this Coban self-adhering tape. And so what I like to do is, um, is essentially I'll just like take it here and I'll start to wrap this around. It's a little bit tricky because you kind of got to hold it. At least for the first rotation, it's a little bit tricky. After that, it gets much easier. So you just kind of put that around, put that around. You go around, down. Make sure you, you go past it, like you go past here. And then uh, I go back up. So notice I like angle it again, just to provide a little bit more support in the, again, in the areas that I know I've gotten blisters before. And then this is a self adhering tape. So it just sticks to itself. So it's very, very cool. And um, there you go. So now uh, this is while still where you have the direction, but this doesn't take me like uh, more than like a couple minutes, if that. <clears throat> I'm very proficient at it now. And this is what it looks like. So first is the microport tape, and then it's the Coban tape, self-adhering tape, and this is what it looks like. Notice how far down I go here. So it's just a little bit like, what is that? About half an inch or so past the glance that I go with the self-adhering tape. And so that's, uh, that's ready, that's ready to go. So next, uh, from here, I like to just go down a tiny bit. <clears throat> so what I do is I'll take this third layer off. So I'll take that off. Okay. And that allows me to go just a tiny bit. I don't go down. Um, I don't go down all the way. And from here, uh, you still have the look like a very good chubby and, um, and then you put it on. So what I like to put it on is with the hook like this on top. And it should just like slide in. This is like the way that they uh, that they mach machine this. And it's funny because like I guess me and uh, and the uh, fucking Mr. Slappy here have similar uh, girth here, which is fine, you know. Um, like we bought like he fits very snug. Uh, well, yeah, I think I have a snugger fit because there's a little bit of wiggle in there. But in any case, it, it, you know, it's good enough for the demo. Uh, yours should fit very very snug in here basically um and there shouldn't be like a lot of movement inside uh you know because the, the way that they make it it's, it's basically again to your dimensions they give you enough room uh for expansion and for growth and also for uh for the taping like this taping okay so now from here basically what i like to do is um so unlike like the total man uh taping tutorial uh, there is no need uh, for uh, for lubrication at all. Like you don't need lubrication at all. So you can just um, you can just slide this down. Okay. So you basically just slide it down. Okay. You slide it down. It's important to manscape because if you have like pubes and stuff and it gets caught here, it can be quite painful. So make sure you manscape. Okay. Uh, fix this if it's you know kind of starts coming off. You can just kind of fix it. It's really not a big deal. <clears throat> okay. So there you go. So it should. Um, so I like to have this hook on the on the top part here. This is what it's angled. So like it should be straight. Okay. So from here, so the next part is very important. Okay. So you have that. The next part uh, is you take uh, you take your um, vacuum pump. You take your vacuum pump and you connect it here. So it'll just uh, sort of connect into place. Okay. And what you're gonna wanna do is slowly start building up. So what I like to do is go up to five, wait a little bit, go up a little bit more, wait a little bit, 
and then go up to 10 okay wait a little bit and then i'll go down again i'll i'll release the tension the pressure and then i'll go again five then i'll go again like a little bit like eight then ten okay release the tension then i'll go like five more quickly by this point now the glass is like way more comfortable so what it is what you're doing here is what the algae hanger guy said is you're priming it you're priming the glance so you go up to 10 okay and then you basically go up all, all the way up until little by little like quickly though uh to 15 you hold it for there like for like two to three seconds and then you release you go again you go up to 10 you go up to 15 two to three seconds release go again you go up to two or three seconds by this point your glance is like way comfortable you're not even really feeling much this is very comfortable even like even though it's like 15 seems like a lot it's, it's really not you don't really feel it. it doesn't really feel that 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 weird or anything at this point and then you let go finally the last time and then lastly um what i like to do is start to pull on it just to pull on it just to make sure uh, like i go up to 10 and i'll pull on it just to like kind of mimicking the way that i'm gonna hang and what i like to do is while i'm pulling on it a little bit is go up to like 12 or 13 or so so like that and then from there you're good to go that should be good um you may need to go a little bit higher depending on the weight um uh, but you know with this I, I can go up to like eight pounds and uh without any any sort of issues and you can go even higher honestly with this which is the beauty of it uh you can go much higher than um than the than the total man vacuum chain uh, vacuum cup system and, and this is actually um why this is kind of like the next level so even though i do recommend the total man vacuum chamber i think at some point you're gonna outgrow it and you're gonna need something that's a little bit um better so that you can go a little bit uh, heavier so at this point you're good to go and what i like to do is finally there's this um this other second band here at the bottom i like to basically kind of take it off so i'll take it off so i'll take it off and i'll leave it on here just to sort of keep the keep the seal here at the top so i'll leave it here keep that seal help that keep help create that seal uh now they also give you like a little velcro strap that you can put on here um now i lost that a while ago uh you can probably buy one um you know wherever i i don't even need it or i don't think it's necessary and i keep this one on uh so by this point you're not constricting blood flow so it's very safe uh obviously keep an eye on uh, you your you know your dimensions might be different but for me one is just i can go uh like it'll it'll kind of constrict a little bit keep it a little bit fluffy but it's not going to cons completely constrict the blood flow uh and again this is what the lg hanger um uh, customer support basically recommends so you basically keep that on while you use it and so from here you can basically um attach right like you know this and or whatever your weight system so here basically i have like the the weight system the weight i have this little thing that basically holds i got this uh, weights i got this from the total man kit um but i don't really use that i'll show you i'll show you my setup in a little bit and it's uh, much much better for me personally but you can use that now uh the bundle arms so once you have it on you can basically attach the bundle arms so you just screw that on okay you screw that on and um this is for um it does a few things so this is for bundled stretches so bundle stretches are extremely advanced like i don't even do that i think like there's a few cases that like you want to basically uh sort of break like deform deform the tunica and basically what it what this does is it allows you to twist it and then you put weight on it and so you would basically twist it put weight on it twist it the other way and put weight on it and what this does like if you if you imagine it from you know from the top like your legs uh basically you twist it and then this basically uh um goes up against your leg and then it prevents it from untwisting so basically uh it, it like this over here will prevent uh the the chamber and your penis from untwisting and then you can provide uh you can add weight and then that that'll basically um that's what's called the bundle stretch so from the top basically you twist it and then you you essentially pull on it and uh, when you're standing up and basically this is meant for uh this is meant to go up against your legs um another cool thing is that uh when you have it on usually like when you are doing uh hanging let's say that you don't have the bundle arms like the it can kind of go to go side to side 
which I, I find it kind of annoying. So even though I don't really do bundle stretches, I like to put the arms on when I'm hanging down because it'll just hold it in place straight. So it just go down. So it doesn't really like twist like that. It doesn't like do like it doesn't, you know, uh, sort of, um, you know, twist around essentially it just kind of holds it straight. So I, I really like that. Like I highly recommend that you, you get it with these um, bundled rods. Okay, so this is really meant for hanging so um so you can um you can attach the weights as i as i mentioned if you have a pulley system i'll actually go through that in my routine a little bit you'll actually see my setup which is really cool i have a pulley system you can use this um you know you don't really need the the arms the arms is really when you're standing up to me like i like to do more like sort of a medium weight long time long periods of time so hours so just today i used this for about four hours hanging about seven pounds for four hours absolutely no blister no discomfort uh anything like that with this um with this taping technique so i use that um but i don't stand for that long like you know what i do is i'll lay down and i have a pulley system which again you'll see in a second um you can also uh the bad part is that you cannot use your typical rod extender. So, um, so this is the Totemen 2.0 rod extender, and you cannot use it because um, essentially, like, it, it won't it won't fit through this. You could try like sort of putting in first your your penis in there and then uh, applying it, but I think that's way too cumbersome. I don't think that's uh, realistic. Um, that's why the LG Hanger has their own um, their own rod extender, which is pretty pricey. There's also the Franken Stander, which is kind of a, a, a brand new, sort of more state of the art um, extender. It's really what the Total Man 3.0 should have been, in my opinion. Um, so I'll put that, you know, I'll put a I'll put a picture as to what that looks like. I ordered that. I think it's really uh, it's what I'm gonna be starting to recommend when it comes to vacuum extending. Um, cause this, you know, it's a little bit flimsy, uh, but in any case, I'll make a dedicated video on the Franken sender when you when it comes in. But, um, I believe that I should be able to use this with the Franken extender, um, because this part is basically, uh, cut off this part here. And so that way, uh, you can just kind of slide in your penis there, uh, sort of from the top and, uh, and then you can attach the, the extender, um, with, the with the with the LG hanger chamber. Uh, once in a while, I like to just make sure that uh, I'm not losing the the vacuum the, the the vacuum pressure here. So if you're seeing that a lot of uh, space here from the top to the glands, what I recommend is you just um, reattach the vacuum pump and just go back up to like um, 13 or so, uh, just to make sure that you you stay at that pressure. And uh, you, I do this periodically, maybe every hour or so, uh, just to make sure that I have a, a correct vacuum chamber, vacuum pressure there. Uh, now, once you're done, once you're done, once your session is done and, and you're, you need to go to the bathroom or whatever, what you do is you connect the, uh, you connect the, the vacuum pump here to the fitting <clears throat> and you press the release. In this case, the, the, the release is the little button here and you press it and that releases it. So what I like to do is sort of press it a few times just to make sure I start taking it off. As I take it off, I press it a few more times. That should be good. So from there, um, and then you can just sort of even break even more of the pressure by starting to take off the vacuum, um, the sleeve. So you take off the sleeve. You can de you can detach the, the vacuum pump at this point. So you take it off and you just kind of roll it up. Okay, so you roll it up. And at some point you can just pop it back up, pop it out, and uh, that's it. You know, you can put this away. Uh, now what I like to do is, uh, when I'm done for the day, um, I don't like to leave on my sleeves here because I feel like it gets worn out faster. So I'll like, you know, take it all apart. I'll take this apart as well. And then I'll just, I'll store this. I even have like bubble wrap for this. Like that's how much I like, I don't want this to get uh, damaged. Um, but you know, I, I just keep it in a safe uh, spot just cause I don't want to, I don't want it to get damaged. Uh, and from there, you know, you can basically take off your, the last, um, constraint, um, sleeve here this little girth band here and uh, take off you know take off the the coband tape so you can take that off okay now the tape can be tricky uh so unlike the total man uh, system where i basically recommended um that you put on uh lubrication this time there is no lubrication at all you don't need it so what i have to do is go um and basically 
uh, run some warm water. I'll be careful, obviously, that it's not hot. So run some warm water, and this will help uh, kind of uh, release the the tape here, and it makes it just much easier and painless to take off. So you can just kind of you know use some warm water and take it off, and and you're good to go. Okay, so next I want to go into my own personal routine, my a little bit of my history with the device and uh, my results. Uh, so I got the LG Hanger, I believe about two years ago. Um, so, um, and I honestly didn't really use it that much at first, mainly because I think the taping, uh, it's a little bit more cumbersome than using the, the Total Man uh, vacuum cup. So the, vac the Total Man vacuum cup is just a little bit easier to put on. And also because I didn't want to go uh, too heavy too heavy at first so I, I tended not to go you know in the in the in the extender just just too hard um so i sort of like that's kind of why i quit using it so i only used it for a little bit um but you know i liked it a lot i wanted to uh, to bring it back out and i wanted to do a review on it um and for the past about two or three weeks this is the only thing that i've been using i don't even even use the total man vacuum cups anymore so unfortunately, I cannot attribute sort of any sort of gains t uh, to the um, LG Hanger because most of my gains came from the Restorix at first and from the Total Man Rod Extender secondly. But I believe that I basically plateaued, right? Um, and if I go any more higher tension with the Rod Extender or with the, um, you know, hanging with the Total Man Vacuum Chambers, I just get blisters like you know even if i'm like and so i'm already at that point where it's just um you know i feel that i've plateaued with the total man vacuum chamber and any if i go any higher like i'll just you know end up injuring basically getting blisters which puts me out of the game for like two or three weeks and really 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 sucks so i got a blister about a month ago and i had to literally wait uh it's a little bit over a month ago and i had to wait uh, for it to heal and then i was like well let me let me bust out the lg hanger see if i can sort of uh you know, perfect the taping, uh, perfect the, the wrapping, and then go a little bit higher and, um, and make things, uh, make my routine a little bit more comfortable overall. So one of the problems that I have when I have the, when I, when I use the extender is that I'll basically, I'll sit here on my bed. So um, you can sort of see here that I have like a, um, a back pillow and a pillow here. And I'll use like another pillow, like for as a head pillow. And, um, you know, basically I'll use it as I work. And, but I'm, I'm working on my laptop, right? And so when I have this, this sort of gets in the way of my laptop uh, because it kind of like, it, it puts, it's just kind of like in the way basically. And uh, so I end up having to work at a bit of an angle and it's kind of annoying, right? Especially when you're working for like long periods of time. Luckily I work from home. And so I wanted to fix all those things. I wanted to have, uh, to go on higher weights. I wanted to go longer. Uh, and I wanted to avoid blisters and I wanted a way such that like it was easier for me to work. So, uh, so what I came up with, I basically already have the pulley system, the pulley system that I bought from the Total Man, uh, website and it's, it's an excellent system. So it's just this little thing that you put under your desk. I have, uh, a desk, a, like a desk that goes up and down. So it's like a standing desk. So I basically, um, you know, when I make these videos, I put it all the way up and it goes all the way back down when, if I want to work or, you know, like it may just makes it a little bit more comfortable when it's more eye level let's say i'm playing video games or whatever so uh, back in the day when i first got the lg hanger i actually set up this was in my old spot um set up a pulley system that i set up myself uh from parts from like home depot in my in my roof uh, but that was very cumbersome and like i had to kind of stand up so what i did is i just got like a longer cable and um and I'll, I'll put a picture here as to what what the setup looks like but i basically put the um, I, I bring up I bring up the standing desk and I put a bucket under the standing desk and that bucket has weights. And then I run a slightly longer cable than the one that came with the Total Man pulley system. Uh, I think I got this on Amazon. I'll, I'll link it below, but uh, you can make this yourself. Uh, I'm, I need to like, I know it's, it's too long, the one that I got, so I need to shorten it. So I ended up just like tying it. It's a little cumbersome, but uh, it works fine. And then from there, I run a, a cable. Uh, basically here, I, I, um, I measure that it goes up to my bed. And it's and like it's perfectly so so what I end up doing is just I put this at the end uh, of the cable and then the other end on the on the vacuum chamber and I'll put a I'll put a, a picture of that here so you can see what it looks like and what it does it basically um, it allows the the penis to go more downwards so um, and more out of the way of my of my laptop right so it's a little bit more out of the way and then I have this cumbersome 
a rod extender in the way so it's much easier for me to like put my laptop actually like i'll put like a pillow or something on top of it uh and i can actually work way more comfortable um um you know than with the rod extender it's just like it's just less cumbersome like as i mentioned uh, i've been doing that for the last <clears throat> for the last few weeks and um i can do much longer sessions at a time just because of how comfortable it is and because i know that i'm not getting blisters right now so i've only gone up to like seven or eight pounds uh but i've done like very very long sessions like four five i believe one day i did like six hours um just while i worked and do like the just the various things on my computer and that works very well so hopefully uh this is going to help me break my plateau and keep going uh, i need to implement some of the other things like you know i think other things that i want to do to break my plateau is implement like dmso uh, which i'll talk about in a different in a, a upcoming video and so I think this is going to be key. Uh, if I do break that plateau, this is the way to do it because you can go with higher, um, longer times and higher weights with this than you would with like the total man vacuum, vacuum cups. Another thing I want to mention is uh, the length of the sleeve. So the length of, of the sleeve here. So you may see like in the LG Hanger website and in other uh, videos, they have it much longer such that it actually encompasses most of the penis. Uh, I don't like that. I feel like it loses too much uh, too much tension and, and they say that oh it applies it more evenly i don't think so i think like you're losing a lot of the tension here uh in the sleeve and for me in my case like i actually have like some um some scar tissue from my peronis at the top of the glands by the glands and so uh it's something that i'm still trying to get rid of and, uh, you know, I have like a, I'm, I've ordered some devices that I think are going to finally help me get rid of it. Uh, it's not a, such a big deal. It doesn't really bother me. Like, it's just like a lit, like the very last bit of um, Peyronis that I have is uh, this slight angle. And it's so hard to get rid of it. I think the only way that I could have gotten rid, rid, rid of it is if I stuck with the Restorex device at the higher because uh, you can angle it as such that like it applies more tension by the top uh, but the Restorex device is just so uncomfortable that I cannot wear it for more than uh, a little bits at a time so um but i don't think this is gonna fix that so but in any case like i'm i much prefer to have like a um a smaller sleeve here but just good enough to have a good a good seal and good uh it provides good tension and have a good traction so that's just my personal opinion you may want to uh, try with the longer first I, I don't know the science behind that but personally i feel like if you have a longer sleeve the longer it is the more uh tension that you're losing and you're not applying to the penile shaft like you're more applying it more closer to the to the ligament and to the base of the penis and i want to really um concentrate the traction forces on the penile shaft to basically sort of um elongate any sort of you know for me it's, it's like scar tissue like you want to basically soften up the tunica as much as you can in the shaft so that it maximizes maximizes your gains and there you go boys that was a very exhaustive demo i think this is like one of the trickiest ones to get right but when you get it right like it's amazing so big big thumbs up uh for the lg hanger at least for the vacuum chamber and the sleeves the sleeves are amazing um i think that the rod extender is overpriced and i'm hoping that the frank extender which i'll do a separate video on uh, that i can use it with this and um you know and that might make my routine even sometimes i like it's kind of a hassle sometimes to set up the weights and all that uh, especially i have a date or my you know a girlfriend or whatever is coming over and i gotta hide the i gotta hide the bucket and the weights and stuff and the cable system so it's kind of a hassle so you know sometimes i just want to use the extender but i can't um let's say that i'm like playing video games in which case i don't need to have my laptop right in front of me i can just you know uh, another thing that i don't like about having an extender though is that you cannot measure the tension um so it's cool in any case um i think this is an amazing amazing device and you know wish me luck boys like i want to break that plateau i want to reach new heights i want to reach new levels and i think this is really going to help me and hopefully this video helped you either to make a decision or to learn more about the legendary lg hanger chamber if you do buy it or if you do own it you know i i highly recommend this uh taping technique but of course you can also check out their website and they have they have like different taping techniques they have a technique where like you basically pull up your foreskin and i have foreskin you pull up your foreskin and you use that and that goes inside the chamber i think that's i that looks gross to me like you know to me when i use the 
the wrap here like it holds back the skin and so i have no problem i don't even get edema i don't get edema in the skin at all um maybe like super minimal edema um which can happen if uh in if you if you're uncut and even with things like the penny master pro um or even the total man vacuum chamber um you know you can get edema in the in the in the foreskin which can suck so with this like i just, it just get very minimal edema with this wrapping technique and if you want to support me hey throw some shekels my way that i put the cash app down below but it, really the best and easiest way to support me is uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and then check out these other videos which are relevant to you and stay tuned because a lot of interesting videos are coming up peace